It's not fat. Well, you know what? I didn't want any kids. And, and my oldest and my middle child, my oldest. Hey, what's going on now? Man, I, didn't, I didn't want no children. I had mine back to back. Two girls, two boys. If I, if I was planning on having that's the best way to have Back to back, uh -huh. you know. I want to have all five of, all five of one time. Yeah. What you say? Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm here, I'm here. I don't think you know what you, you said. Well, I said I want to have five of all at one time. You want to have five kids at one time? Yeah. That's what ain't I want. Ain't nothing wrong. I want to set a twin, but it didn't happen. Uh, My daughter had the twin. Let me, let me tell you this. When I had my last one, I had four. You tell me what the boy, I told that doctor, she get back. <laughs> <laughs> I got about three or four in the shed. I'm bringing, you know, walkers and canes. I'm bringing blue. So the boy was born first. It was one back. And I had one after that. I do well, like I said, I got pain in the shed. Nice and decent. But I ain't doing nobody no good. Somebody's going to bring him here. Wheelchairs and all. I just tried. Yes, I just tried. There wasn't a big one. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go. I just tried. Yeah. You'll see the budget will be over. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are going to rejoice in the day. Amen. Amen. This is Christmas Eve day. It's Christmas Eve day. Amen. 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 Amen.
Jesus Christ was on this wise. When as his mother Mary was a spouse to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary, thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Amen. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. 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 A moment this close, however long, long the Lord gives me this morning, I'm going to speak on this subject, the greatest Christmas gift. The greatest Christmas gift. Christmas celebrates an awesome and an amazing event because it's the hope and the message of Christmas that helps us to stay glued together when life is falling apart, when it seems that the fabric of life is unraveling or has become frayed. Christmas is the depth of the meaning of Christmas. The Christ rather is the meaning of Christmas that keeps the garment of our lives for being ruined. And so the amazing and the awesomeness of Christmas has less to do with the season, but it has more to do with a Savior that was born in Bethlehem to the Virgin Mary. It's the person that is behind Christmas that meets us when we are bruised, when we are broken, when we are battered, when we are burdened, and when we are bewildered. It's the message and hope of Christmas that keeps us anchored and stable when things are often unstable, shaky, and crumbling all around us. However, often we are so preoccupied with the celebration that we forget the celebration. But the celebrant is the most important and is more important than the celebration because the celebrant is the reason for the celebration. Amen. Amen. Amen.
is a celebration that never ceases to bring joy. Grace also is like a treasure that never depletes, a wealth that never runs out, a riches that never ceases to amaze. And this grace, this amazing grace, comes from God's greatest Christmas gift, which is Jesus Christ. Amen. And so during this Christmas season, we hear so much about holiday cheer. We hear so much about peace on earth and goodwill toward me. Will. We spend time with family and we think happy thoughts. Now while all of these things are great and good, there is something better to us in the greatest gift of all. The gift of experience, the grace, and the mercy of God in Jesus Christ. Because without the grace of Jesus, where would we be? Amen. 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 God's grace, saints, is a gift that keeps on giving, keeps on growing, and keeps on dying. It's a gift that's as constant as the rising of the sun. It's as abundant as the stars in the sky. It's as deep as the ocean. It is wide as the universe. Mm -hmm. And let us remember, this grace is not just for us. It's for everyone. Amen. Right. It's for the lost. Yes. It's for the found. Mm -hmm. It's for the broken. Amen. It's for the whole. Amen. It's for the weak and it's for the strong. Yeah. It's for the poor and the rich. Will. It's for my, my. Again, God's grace in Jesus Christ is for us all Amen. because we all need God's grace. Amen. Amen. So as we go from here, let's not just keep this grace to ourselves. Let's spread it. Let's live it. Let's be channels of God's grace to the world. Everyone needs God's greatest gift. Amen. Everyone needs grace. Amen. 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 The second thing about this about this greatest gift that it brings joy. Christmas yeah, yeah. is a time of joy and celebration. Yeah. However, we must ensure that it's not a pagan joy generated by the expectation of a change in gifts. The real happiness of Christmas is in the fact that Christ Jesus was born. Amen. Sadly though, many of people would not know the true joy of Christmas, a joy that Christmas can bring. They really cannot know it without knowing the one who is the source right. of our joy. Amen. Amen. And so as we celebrate Christmas this year with our loved ones amidst all the gifts and traditions, to view Christmas from a different lens. Yes, it would always carry the same meaning, but in different seasons, God always has different lessons. Mm -hmm. Think of Christmas as God's gift of a new promise to us, a promise of a light at the end of a dark tongue. Though 2023 has been long, and challenging yes, in many different ways. It's still a time, Saint, to rise up with shouts of victory and shine bright for all the world to see. Amen. Because amen. we have been given the greatest gift. Amen. Amen. Now I cannot help but be overjoyed when focusing on the many wonderful things that God has done this year and things to come. The gift of God was the gift of all gifts. Amen? Amen. Amen. The gift of God gave us a Savior. It gave us a Redeemer. Amen. It gave us a Deliverer. Amen. 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 And without this gift, we would have no hope. That's right. We would have no joy. That's right. We would be doomed to die in our sins forever separated from God. Now, we can approach God boldly because of this great gift, amen, amen. that was clothed in the righteousness of Jesus Christ. So let us gratefully and humbly
Well, Amen.
Amen. Yes. Amen. God gave the best Christmas present ever to this world. Because he gave his only begotten son, yes. Jesus. Because we were in trouble, saints, and needed help. Amen. God is perfect, which means that he has never done anything wrong. But we, on the other hand, had done lots of things wrong. Well, hear me today. My brothers and my sisters, we are not here today because we have lived a modeled life. We are not here today because we have demonstrated flawless and faithful behavior in every aspect of our lives. We are here today because the love of God reached us wherever we were. Thank you, Lord. And this gift of God in Jesus Christ is the gift that we celebrate at Christmas time because we receive the gift of unconditional love. Amen. Every one of us, no matter our condition, our affliction, our disposition, every single one of us is God's beloved. Yes. Made worthy. We're not worthy because of our good deeds. Uh -huh. We're not worthy because of our goodness. Yeah. But we are worthy because the word made flesh came just to love us. No matter whether we were sick, healthy, rich, poor. What's even amazing about this greatest gift is that the infant became an infant. The ancient days became a child. And the ever-blessed one became a man of sorrows that was born in a Bethlehem manger. Mm -hmm. This could really happen. It's a wonder. It's a marvel. It's beyond our wildest imagination. Because yes. all the hopes and dreams of the dying world were cradled in Bethlehem's manger. Mm -hmm. The manger on that first Christmas night. I imagine that those little hands that clasped that straw in his crib were soon to touch and open blinded eyes. Amen. To unstop deaf ears and to cleanse the lepers. I imagine the cooing voice of the baby Jesus would soon be lifted to command demons to yes. depart, yes. to calm yes. the trouble seas, mm -hmm. to teach men and women the way to eternal life, yes. and to raise the dead. Yes. I imagine that those tiny feet were soon to take him to the sick and the needed, and finally to be pierced on the cross of Calvary. Amen. 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 Bethlehem's Amen. manger became the link that bound a lost world to a living and living God. And because of this, my brothers and sisters, we should never feel alienated from God. We should never feel that we are existing on a dark sphere called Earth, just swirling and twirling around in space. While God, we should never feel that God is in some distant corner of the universe. Christmas means that God is interested in the affairs of his people everywhere. Yes. It means that God loves us all so much that he is willing to send his son to the entire world. Yes. He didn't just die for you and I, yes. but he died while people were yet sinners, amen. amen. Didn't have Jesus on his mind. So he died for all of us. That we might be free, that we might be saved, that we might be delivered. Yes, yes, yes. The real yes. message yes. of Christmas yes. is not the gift that we give to each other. Rather, it's a reminder of the gift that God has given to each of us. God has given this world the gift that is so perfect. Nothing compares. Many people think 
that gift giving at Christmas was started by the wise men when they brought gifts to baby Jesus. But it was God who gave the first Christmas gift, yes. the greatest yes. Christmas gift ever, yes. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes. Yes. Just as children equally unwrap the presents, and some grown people too, on Christmas morning, yes. God desires us to open the gift of salvation he offers. This unique gift grants us fellowship with Jesus. God longs for all his children to accept this greatest gift. Jesus is the perfect gift. From the day that I accepted him, he is still given to me. Yes. He gives me joy when I'm sad. He gives me peace yes. when I'm worried. Yes. Yes. He gives me help when I mm. reach the end of my rope. Yes. He gives yes. me protection yes. from dangerous things yes. and unseen. Yes. Yes. So the truth is, oh. when it comes yes. to Christmas gifts that we receive, we are pretty selfish. Because we are like a little child. We claim them as ours. And we don't want them, we don't want to share them with other people. Well. But what makes Jesus the greatest gift of all is that we don't want to keep him to ourselves. Amen. We want yes. to share him yes. with those Amen. we love. Yes. Yes. We want them to have the same great gift of yes. Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. And that's why the Bible says that we are ambassadors for Christ. Yes. You see, ambassadors talk about who or what they represent. And we, as Christ ambassadors, we represent Christ. So we are commissioned to talk about him, to share him with others. Yes. So as we, and so at Christmas, we celebrate the Almighty, the glorious God, who became a man, taking on the limitations of time and space, that we might behold and receive his glory. This divine step out of eternity onto this world of sin. So every Christmas is a reminder of God's eternal love yes. for us. Yes. And for the whole world. Yes. We surely are not worthy of receiving any gifts from this great God. Because he's the king of kings. Yes. He's the Lord oh, of Lords. Yes. He is yes. the mystery. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. 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 He's the yes. omnipotent one. Yes. All power. Yes. He's the omnipresent yes. one. Mm. Always yes. present at the same time. Yes. And he yes. alone is worthy. Of our praise. Yes. God certainly owes us no gift. Yes. It's we that owe our God a gift. Now, a gift, by definition, is something bestowed, a gift, voluntarily and without compensation. So, when we think about a gift, we become mindful that it's not the intention to give something in return, but rather to see the joy it brings to the receiver. Yes. Even when God in Acts 20, 35 says, it's more blessed to give than to receive. Mm -hmm. Saints, Christmas is Jesus' birthday. But do we give him a gift mm -hmm. on his birthday? Mm -hmm. There are several gifts worth mentioning that we can give to Christ. And these gifts cannot be bought with money. The first gift we can give Jesus is our worship. How do we worship God? Well, one way is to tell him how great he is. One way is, is to tell him happy birthday on his birthday. Jesus wants us to think about him tomorrow 
and to remember that he is why we celebrate Christmas. Amen. God wants our attention and focus not only tomorrow, but today and every day to be on the greatest gift and to worship this great gift. We can also worship Jesus by giving to others. Now, too often, the only gifts we tend to give at Christmas are to our close friends and family. And often, if the truth be told, they don't really need anything at all. But there are many things who this Christmas who are missing out. In fact, they miss out on the good things life that we enjoy each and every day. So Jesus wants us to be like St. Nicholas and help those in need. Because when we help others in need, we actually minister to Christ himself. Yes, amen. So this Christmas, think about giving something to the needy. Amen. 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 Don't count yourself as needy. Amen. Well. I know how some of you think. Amen. Well. Jesus, the 
one who is Lord and Savior. Yeah. Will you receive yeah. the greatest Christmas gift? Yeah. And if you have not yet accepted God's free gift of salvation, I urge you, don't leave this place today. Yeah. Don't turn on Facebook Live today without accepting and receiving the greatest gift. Don't delay it, for none of us is guaranteed tomorrow. And remember, Christmas may be over after one day, after December 25th, mm -hmm. but God's love for us never ends. Mm -hmm. Therefore, let us embrace the significance of Christmas. Let us embrace Jesus, because Jesus continues to give. Jesus continues to work on our behalf. Yeah. Jesus does not need a battery, so he never gets weak or weak. Jesus yes. is all that we need. Yes. Jesus, yes. I give to you. Yes. Jesus, yes. my friend, yes. my yes. Yes. I give to you. Amen. Amen. Yes. Peace, Lord. 
and infirmities in our bodies. Yeah. We come, Lord God, come against any stubborn infirmity, fall on us. And we clap and call on the name of Jesus to remove it right now. Yeah. We fire back every arrow of sickness flowing in our bloodstream. And whatever our Father has not planted in our bodies, we root it out mm. by the blood of Jesus. Yeah. We come rooting out cancer. Yeah. We come rooting out back pain. Yeah. All kinds of pain yes. in our bodies. Yes. Rooting out COVID, mm -hmm. pneumonia, flu, yes. RSV, RSV. Rooting out lung problems, mm -hmm. heart problems. Yeah. Rooting out arthritis. Yeah, yeah. Rooted out right now in the name yeah. of Jesus. Yeah. 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 And so, Lord God, we say that every undesired ailment mm -hmm. in our body system perish by fire immediate. Yes. Fire of the Holy Spirit, burn up sickness mm -hmm. and infirmity right yeah. now. Yeah. Lord God, we commit all spirits of mental illness, yeah. where it's schizophrenia, yeah. slip personality disorder. Mm -hmm. Double mindedness, mm. bipolar, okay. retardation, yeah. deaf and dumb, paranoia, yeah. insecurity, mm. yeah. delusions, mm. depression, mm. hallucinations, yeah. insanity. Command to yeah. leave our minds yeah. right yeah. now. Yeah. 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 Mother Walker and Willie Knob, Lord God. Yes. We call out the name, Lord God, of 
Robert McClure, Lord God, Doris Kelly, Lord Jackson, and William Kelly, Lord God. We call out the name of Maurice, Lord God, and Jackie Ford, Lord God, forward by now in the name of yes. Jesus, Lord God. We call out, Lord God, others, Lord God, that you know, Lord God. We are not calling them out, but you know the name by name, Lord God. Mm -hmm.